let me pass. I have business with the dwarf Javaris and your Arishok. The short mouth, yes. Enter if you must, Basra. Ah, my right hand arrives. Summon your era, shot. The bargain is done. About time you showed. I've been here for hours. Illustrious Aeroshock, I am here to report that your hated Talvashoth were felled, one and all. Right? Uh, yes, yes, yes they were. So, I'm ready to open negotiations for the explosive powder, as we agreed. No. He's not getting it. Say something. The Talvashoth camped at the wounded coast are dead. You won't honor your bargain. There is no bargain to honor. His offer for the deadlock was refused, so he invented a task to prove his worth, when he has none. I broke my beard getting your outcasts killed. You hired someone more competent to now stand in their shadow pretending it is yours. You demean his accomplishment? Get out of my sight before I bother lifting my sword. Nevertheless, you have benefited from his action. Do you think we are unable to hunt our own outcasts? This was interference, nothing more. So I get nothing for all this work? If anything, we have been denied the righteous application of the wisdom of the Kune. What payment should I exact for that? Go, Dwarf, before I begin my tally. He had big plans for your recipe. I was supposed to get a piece of that. Dwarf. Did your imaginary bargain make promises on my behalf? I... Uh, expected your wisdom to be more profitable. Then you will pay on my behalf. Not at all. Take your coin. Take whatever. Hornhead, Oxman, and Mongrel Dog Lords. Suck your own powder and blow your head off. Sod it. You will leave as well, human. There's no more coin for you here. I just like this place, but that... Why do you bother me, human? The dwarf paid you. There is no more. Your kind thinks selfishness and want are normal. This city, all of it, leaves a bad taste. If you despise this place, why haven't you left? Since we arrived, I have seen nothing but greed and weakness. Dwarves, humans, elves, just festering. No order, no goal. You are one of the few I have met with any ability. And yet this too was random, a result of selfishness. I cannot fathom how a mire like this can be justified. You say we should leave, but how can you bear to stay in this chaos? My welcome to the city was not so different from yours. And yet you suffer it. It's an opportunity to make a real difference. Karasten are soldiers. The tune made it so. They can never vary from that assigned path, never be other than they are meant to be. But they are free to choose within that role, to accept and succeed, or deny and die. Glory is clear and defined. Could you, could not this entire city benefit from that certainty? How else will you know when you have made a real difference? He's free to choose to obey. That isn't contradictory to you. He chooses to be, as do we all, long before any of your meaningless freedoms are presented. I am not the one to educate you. I did not intend to land here. But this city may demand certainty. 
I suspect we are done, human. You're a long way from home. Why did you come? To meet a demand of the Kuhn. Which was? It is a matter only the Kunari understand. We remain until we fulfill the demand of the Kuhn. Or until the demand changes. I don't think Kirkwall would do well under military rule. The rule of the Kuhn is not military. It is discipline and order. How is that different? To your limited understanding, it is not. You fear soldiers that arrive to remove your pitiable vices. But they do not control Kunari. The Triumvirate divides and governs. One is nothing without the others. You guard your powder carefully. It is a tool that can only be allowed to exist under the ordered authority of the Kuhn. It could benefit many people. It does now. Just as swords benefit warriors, but are not given to children. Well, your children. Farewell. Panahedan, human.